Well, they've always maintained that this international arrest warrant under which he's being held is illegal, and they filed a motion saying that he should be released. Uh, the courts here have said that they will make a decision on that in the next few weeks, and that raises the whole question of bail. Now, my understanding is uh, that Roman Polanski will voluntarily go into house arrest at his home in Gestad. We think that the paperwork for that uh, will be filed in a bail request probably uh, tomorrow. The only problem for them is that it has never happened uh, in Swiss legal history. We think that the federal court uh, will have to be involved in that, and it could, of course, uh, take a long time. But that is, uh, at this stage, their best hope of trying to get him out. Of course, according to the French lawyers, it's taking a terrible toll on his family, but they say both they and the Director are determined to fight on. He refuses to be extradited, and we are asking for bail. And I wish this request of freedom would be looked at as soon as possible. A lot has been said on this, but his arrest is completely outrageous. We are doing everything we can to get him out of there. Stuart, it shouldn't make a difference, but of course it does. Palaz is extremely popular, isn't he? Not only in Europe, but he's got plenty of friends in Hollywood as well. That's right, Woody Allen, Martin Scorsese, David Lynch are now joining a petition uh, calling for his release. We've got governments as well that are involved in France and Poland. That petition started here at the film festival, of course, which is where he was arrested on his way uh, for commemorative evening and a lifetime achievement award. It does obviously assist him, but now he's into the legal system here. I'm not convinced that the Swiss authorities will take much interest in that. Perhaps it will have an influence in the United States, but at the moment he's very much stuck in a legal system and he's stuck inside a cell. We understand he's only allowed out for about an hour and a half a day. He's having three meals a day, but he's in a cell and he's going to stay there until he can get out and bail, but I have to say that looks pretty unlikely at the moment, given his somewhat dubious record when it comes to bail.